you beautiful people welcome back to the overwhelmed woman i'm emma and if like me you're in the process of taking your decorations down or will be in the next few days it might be a great time to sort them out for lots of reasons in my case i've got way too many the boxes that you see behind me are the stuff that didn't even get to be put up in our house this year because we physically haven't got room for it i've got five clear boxes full of decorations um i've put it off for lots of reasons one i love christmas two i perceive it to, it's going to take me a long time and three some of my decorations are very sentimental to me and i'm gonna be challenged to decide whether to let stuff go or not but um, I can't keep making excuses for it and then giving you lovely people advice about how to get rid so um, I'm going to continue taking the stuff off the tree and putting it into categories and then go through the process so I'll check back with you in a little while hi everyone so i've started to take all the stuff off the christmas tree and put it into categories so i've put all my nutcrackers together all my wooden decorations together porcelain decorations and really special things all together so all this stuff i'm going to keep but i'm going to replicate the process of this with all the stuff that's on the floor so i'm going to put it all into categories and then work through how much i think i'm going to use in the future and how much heart of hearts I know I'm not going to but what I would say to you is if space is a problem as well and if you're like me and Christmas represents everything connected with family and love then um, you'll want your decorations to reflect that so um, for me all of the stuff that goes on my tree has very special meaning every year with the exception of kind of the generic baubles that just add a little bit of sparkle so one thing that i absolutely love is these little baubles that i got from the pound shop that you can print photographs off and just pop them in and they've got my grandparents in there who are no longer with me bless them and photographs of our daughter when she was a tiny baby and so when i put things like that on the tree it just fills me with happy nostalgia rather than sadness once that initial knee jerk oh um has passed which it always does every time i get those photographs out but um i've got things like these beautiful hats that my former ex-mother-in-law bought me and although um she's no longer in my life when i put those on the tree i think of her with fondness i've got things here like this little figure i bought from canada that did have a sledge attached to it until my huskies that I used to own ate it so when they go on the tree I think of my huskies and then I've got these little virgin v um, porcelain decorations which I actually used to work for virgin v and I designed these myself so I remember about 12 years ago sitting in my little old flat with my now husband we've been together 16 years and actually drawing these out on a piece of scrap paper on a Sunday afternoon. Just wish I'd have had the royalties for them. So if anybody is watching, just saying. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go through all the other stuff now and really think about whether I need it, whether I love it, whether it means anything to me, and ultimately whether I've got space for it. But one thing I will say, and it's took me about 10 takes to do this video. So here's take 11. Um, but if there is anything that you come across that connects you to sadness, whether that be at Christmas or at any time during the year, then rethink whether you want to keep it. So when our daughter, who's now 11, was about three years old, myself and my husband went on to have five miscarriages, all very, very early days, but within quite a short space of time. And it devastated both of us. And I wrote this letter in a bottle to all of those babies and hung that on my tree every Christmas for um, about four years and in recent years I've just realised that all that does is connect me to loss and sadness and uh, I don't want to be reminded of that kind of pain so whilst I am not going to throw this away I am going to put it in a memory box that I can make the choice when and if I revisit it rather than putting it in the Christmas box and then just having it hit me like a um, stab through the heart every time I open it so I'm going to work through all of this stuff now and check back with you at the end and show you what I've got rid of and hopefully it will give you a bit of inspiration okay 
Okay, so I'm at the stage where I am starting to sift through and I have got a ton of stuff which I'll show you in a minute for charity. But um, just a quick tip is if you've got little tins kicking about, so for example this one was from a Next gift set that I got bought years ago, they are great for storing all your the, the really delicate little things that you want to keep. So I've got all my candy canes in there, I've got a set of cake tins that now house all the nutcrackers and um, someone bought me a little set of Yankee candles a couple of years ago so now I've got all my little cherubs in there so little tins like that work really well and what I also do is rather than buy new um, Christmas Eve boxes every year which I've done for years and years for my husband and my daughter actually but I use them to keep little Christmas boxes to reuse next year and also if anybody gets us a gift and it's in one of these little bags then I keep the bags and use them the following year as well so kind of quite a lot of upcycling and actually to that end next year um, I didn't do it this year because I was reusing stuff I was still using stuff that I've got uh, stashed away Christmas wrap and things like that but next year I'm just going to go old school and get to good old brown craft paper and twine and um, I've already done what my nan did years ago as a child I remember cutting all gift tags out of Christmas cards and I used to think it was a bit naff and actually it kind of is but it just reminds me of her it's a bit of nostalgia so I will be using handmade gift tags on all the presents next year so I'll crack on and um, do a quick update right at the end and um, hopefully it will help bye Okay, so I've gone down from five big boxes of decorations to two and a bit and there's two big boxes of stuff that's mostly decorations in there that can now go to charity. So that's less boxes to move around my loft, hopefully less time up there banging my head doing a lot of swearing, which is neither festive or Christian. Um, so every cloud, I say, but um, look, I hope that's helped and uh, just give you a bit of inspiration if you're struggling where to start and just remember if you're overwhelmed you're not alone we're all overwhelmed together just doing the best we can in a mad world and uh, we all deserve to lead a clutter free life so until next time massive love from me as always keep on keeping on and um, now I'm going to go and get a cup of tea